Aggie, a uh, dramatic one tonight, a 2-1 win at Boreham Wood. Dramatic mm -hmm. probably for different reasons tonight, though. You had to dig deep for that one. Yeah, yeah, they're, um, they showed every inch why they're up there as one of the favourites to win the division. They're a very good side. and um, Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a very difficult evening at the office, and so it proved, yeah. What a monumental effort to a man from, from every one of your players tonight to... to not only come away with three points, but the defensive effort they showed in that second half, you must be pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, I think across the the six <laughs> games, across the six games, it, it's it's challenged us in loads of different ways. And I think um, the players, without sounding like a broken record, they've answered those challenges. Um, I think, again, tonight was another advert for that mentality and that grit and determination and just finding a way to to win the game really. Um, you know, both goals were exceptional goals, so similar to Saturday a little bit in terms of, you know, we've got so much to improve on, on and off the ball. Um, but we're showing real moments of some like, high quality football, which I think is better than the level. And those moments are winning us games. And we're, We've married that in the last two games with real hard work and effort and determination and, as I said, grit, um, which, is, which has obviously resulted in six points. And um, you know, Tonight was incredibly tough, though. I mean, the, the, like I said, on Saturday, anyone that finishes above Bournemouth will probably win the league. So, um, you know, we're delighted just to come here and finish off that run of six away games with, with, uh, with three points. You, you mentioned in the in the build-up to this one that it would pose a different challenge for you, that they'd come and be toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you think your players adapted to that? Obviously, battled hard in the main. Um, it will be a better team the next time we play Bournemouth. Because um, I felt at times we could have been better with the football and exposed them more than what we did. So the two goals were obviously, like I said, real high-quality moments and, and I feel like if we'd have been better on the first three or four passes especially on the regain um, we could have had a lot more of those moments because they're really aggressive and they come after you and um, they do give you opportunities to hit spaces um, and I just felt that as the game went on we um, didn't deal with their pressure as well as what we had done earlier on in the game. So I felt earlier on in the game, it was a good 50-50 game. It was a good back and forth. Whereas I just felt as the game progressed, we dropped deeper, played less passes, played more longer passes, and we just found the, the ball coming back a little bit too quick. Um, uh, yeah, so, you know, but again, I, I think the subs were very good today. I thought Jack Bates, when he come on, steadied it a little bit. Um, and Harrison Smith, I thought Temi Babalola was superb. Um, delighted for him to score his first goal, but I just thought his all-round game was very good. And when he blew up, Harrison come on, and Harrison obviously was key in that Cashman Weldy at the end. Um, so, yeah, I just <coughs> yeah, longest answer ever. I think um, <laughs> I think we're playing in moments, <coughs> and the challenge for us is to turn those moments into spells. And I think if we can, uh, or when we do that. Um, we'll be a lot further down the line and, and games like this will be a lot more dominant than perhaps what we were. It was those two moments of brilliance though, mm. wasn't it? Temi down that left flank, bombed past the defender for that first goal. First goal for him, you must be delighted for him as well. Coming into the side, he doesn't look out of place, does he? Nah, not at all. He's a beast. Um, I think you can see why why we wanted to bring him in in the summer and why we wanted that type of centre forward because no coincidence. Now we're seeing a lot more from Cash. Tommy and Spongy, those guys in between uh, lines because centre backs have now got a big problem. Um, and it was the it was four or five passes leading up to when Temi got on the ball. That's what I mean about we needed to do more of that in the second half. The more aggressive Bourne would become, the more we needed to pass it because I felt if we played those three or four passes and we got someone turned and we'd break the pressure, we'd break lines we'd have had a field day attacking um, big spaces and the first goal was an example of that. Um, but again, it's just, not just a goal. He could have not scored tonight and still had a massive impact on the game because he's making other players around him better, which is great. 
and the second goal as well. Oh. Another moment of brilliance between the two of them, Harrison Smith and Danny Cashman. I think Cash picked it up on, on his own 18-yard box and drove forward. It was a ridiculous, ridiculous goal. Um, yeah, what were your thoughts on that? It's one of the best goals I've seen live. Outrageous. Outrageous goal. Um, yeah. You know, we, we've already seen some really good goals. Obviously, the, the two highlight ones were against St Albans and Hampton, more team goals, but that was... That was Danny Cashman, Harrison Smith, uh, chipping in a little bit, but incredible goal. Um, I mean, the bit at the end as well, where he sat two defenders down in the six-yard box as well to have the composure then just to roll it in left foot. Outrageous, outrageous goal. But, you know, the best thing about Cash's performance tonight, and same with Tommy Willard, same with Spongy, without sounding boring, they're working incredibly hard for the team. Like, we had to take Spongy off after an hour because obviously he played 90 on Saturday and was, <coughs> you know, he's uh, he put an incredible shift in there and he, he blew up after an hour, understandably, and uh, obviously Bates come on, made an impact. But the shift the whole team has put in, which those guys are leading, um, it's incredibly impressive. And again, it just uh, reinforces what we said to the players from day one because we've got real quality. If we can run around and work hard, we'll always be very competitive, and I think that showed more than ever tonight. Got to ask as well about Cash. He limped off at the end. Is he okay? No, I was just thinking. Is his? Uh, uh, no, he's all right. I think he was. Uh, he got smashed on the edge of the box so, um, for the millionth time. But um, no, it wouldn't surprise me if that was just exhaustion. To be honest, needing to be carried off. Um, but no, he's, he's all good. He's fine. Perfect. And uh, looking ahead to Saturday now, you finally play your first home game uh, yeah. in your time as boss here. Yeah. How excited are you to, to play in front of a, hopefully, 1,500 strong crowd at Woodside? Yeah, really excited. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to um, getting a bigger support. But then, do you know what, what I would say is, is these haven't felt like away games. Obviously, the travelling has, has been a bit of a pain in the arse, to be honest, and there's a lot of it, but... I think the support's been unbelievable. Like tonight, like our guys have drowned Boreham Wood out. Uh, it was the same on Saturday. I think the support's been brilliant. So, um, in terms of how we feel as a team, um, what we're getting from the supporters, I, I don't think it'd be too different because I feel like we, you know, we've been supported so well um, all season. So, um, just be nice, less travelling, and play on play on the pitch you train on about six times a week so yeah no, looking forward to that um, and hopefully building on um, what I think has been a decent start I think we're probably three points shy of what we would have liked to have been um, but equally like I said on Saturday we're running just below that sort of two points per game mark and if we can do that away from home and like I said turn Woodside into the fortress that we will then we won't be uh, too far away from it. Thanks, Aggie. Cheers.